Anchored off the coast of King Island in Bass Strait, this floating unit is revolutionising energy production in Australia. This is um, just a starting point and it's very exciting because it does open the door for people to start to realise it's very real. Uh, it's no longer talk. For the first time, waves are powering Australian homes, about 200 of them. We've been generating electricity from the waves of the Southern Ocean that have been captured in the unit. Um, that was our primary objective. Um, that electricity is of a very high quality and it's been accepted by Hydro Tasmania as suitable for the grid on King Island. So that, that's a, a very important achievement. Wave swell is, uh, is a huge success from our point of view. It's providing power for the island. It's, uh, it's renewable. Um, it's a, a, um, a, a method that could be used in other places. So we're very happy to be... Uh, to be pioneering it. Other attempts to harness wave power have failed, with units either sinking or breaking free from moorings. The wave swell unit has no moving parts in the water. It mimics a natural blowhole. Waves go in, rise and fall, and force air into the turbine. The conversion rates that we've been able to achieve in terms of the amount of electricity that we are able to extract from the wave energy that comes into the unit is very high. We have something to showcase that works and now we can build on that and build that customer demand that we're looking for. Waveswell says once built, these units can be placed off any coastline anywhere in the world. There's optimism Pacific Island nations could use them as break walls to help combat coastal erosion. There are, you know, sovereign governments in those islands are very concerned to ensure that they are building resilient infrastructure. So that's also presenting as a very considerable opportunity for us. We would hope that uh, maybe uh, seeing it work here on a uh, pilot basis uh, might give them some hope. The renewable energy sector now has an ocean of possibilities. Jessica Moran, ABC News.